Hello everyone, my name is Benson and welcome back to Hop and Help and today I am here with Kiko for the 13th Froggy Friday. Now I have had Kiko for a very long time, he's a red eye tree frog and he has his eyes closed because the ring light is pretty bright. I don't blame him. But this guy's great, he's just, just kind of hangs out. That's really all he does is he likes to stay behind leaves. Like most red eye tree frogs, they like to blend in because he kind of looks like a leaf <laughs> when he's sleeping. And then at night he comes out and he sits by his water bowl, he'll soak, and then he'll hunt. And then he goes back to bed. So that's what Kiko does. Now Kiko wasn't always so calm. When he was younger, he was an escape artist. No matter what I did to that tank, he would find a way out. It was crazy. I'd find him under my bed, under my dresser, in the corners of the rooms. Like he was, it was always like a surprise to find where Kiko was the next day. But he always did come back and I actually, like for about two years, I left a water bowl out in the room just in case he got out so that he wouldn't dehydrate. But now he hasn't escaped in about a year and a half so I think he's out of that phase thankfully because it was always scary. No matter how many times he did, I was still scared that I wouldn't find him. Another weird thing about Kiko is he's actually picky about the crickets he eats. He will leave crickets if he doesn't like them, if they aren't the right size or whatever. He will not eat them. It's so weird. I've never met a frog that like won't eat an insect that's alive. It's so weird. And also, no matter what I do, I cannot keep a plant alive in his tank. I don't know if it's him, because I have the same type of plants in all of my tanks and they always die in his. I've changed the soil, like I, I don't know what it is. And that tank does receive natural sunlight like the majority of the other ones, so I, I don't know what it is, but the plants in his tank are always dead. I'm sorry. But Kiko is an amazing red-eye tree frog. I've had him for such a long time, and I'm looking to find him a friend. Just at the reptile fair, they always have babies, and he's clearly not a baby, but he's a really great frog. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Leave a like and subscribe for more, and have a happy day. Goodbye.